there's so much that I want to say, but first of all, why does she have a microphone stand that doesn't attach to anything? Dude, why is that? Why is that weird little metal stick still attached to the microphone? The whole point of a microphone stand is to hold up the microphone so that you don't have to touch it and you can sing. Why is everything she does so extra for no reason? And the second and most important point, I guess, why was she literally gooning on stage in front of what's most likely children? Because that's her entire audience. Jojo Siwa, the little dance mom's girl, who's now going through her bad girl face, so she has to take her child audience who's made her millions of dollars buying her paper plates at Walmart with her face on it, now is just going live on stage and touching herself uh, because it's edgy. Ooh. And I know a lot of you are about to say, Lofi, why are you tripping? A lot of artists have suggested or even just straight up sexual performances when they're on stage, and I would agree with you. Yeah, they do. And I personally don't think there's anything wrong with that. But the majority of those artists have had adults or at least older audiences their entire careers. Jojo Siwa has not. If Megan the Stallion pulls up on stage and starts twerking, that's what you expect. If Jojo Siwa pulls up on the stage and literally fingers her butthole, that's not what you expect. Especially given that just at the very end of last year, she was still making what would be considered family-friendly content, and then the second 2024 entered, she was like, my New Year's resolution is to be as cringe and as edgy as possible. Anyways, uh, Shim Karma. <laughs> so I figured we'd take a look at some of Jojo Siwa's cringiest videos of 2024. Because if I gotta lose brain cells, so do you, all right? We're all gonna get dumber together. Bro, somebody go get JoJo Siwa a pair of keys, dude. She is ready to drive. Ain't nothing better than a pregame before you go hit the highway, man. O honestly, I, I would trust JoJo Siwa to be my Uber driver after this performance. And if you wouldn't, then that means you are actually homophobic because JoJo Siwa is the gay. That's right, she is the gay. She is patient zero. I'm not even joking. She literally said in an interview that she invented the gay. They said it back in the day when I first signed with Columbia. I said, I want to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well called gay pop and they were like what's that and i was like it's like k-pop right but it's yeah. gay pop and this is undeniable proof that every single gay person on earth came from jojo siwa she has been around since the dawn of time giving birth to every single gay person freddie mercury yeah his mom was actually jojo siwa no joke no scam oh uh, karma is a bitch i gotta replace the copyright because jojo's a bitch Bro, is that the whole point of the weird little stick attached to her microphone? I thought that was a microphone stand at first, but nah, it's actually a part of her show. This is so creative, man. Put a giant glittery stick in front of your face so the audience can't see you. Yeah, very creative, JoJo. Bro, seriously though, why is she over here like literally flicking the bean in front of a live audience? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not a live performer except for when I stream over on twitch.tv slash OG Lofi. You guys should definitely go give that a follow. But I don't think I could just go up on a stage and then just start touching myself and be like, yeah, this is art. Personally, I think it's pretty embarrassing, honestly. I, I, don't, I don't think I could do something like that. And speaking of embarrassing, dude, Jojo Siwa posted a bunch of crazy TikToks where she was drunk off her ass at Disney, dude. I should've known. <laughs> I love how you can see the look of disappointment on her face, like, mm, why, why don't people know the lyrics to my song? I'm super famous. I'm the Jojo Siwa, inventor of the gay. Everybody should be loving and worshipping me. Uh, well, sorry to break it to you, Jojo, but the only reason why people know the lyrics to your song is because they've been laughing at it because of how cringe it is. Like, hey, if you love it and you're living your best life because you're super rich, uh, that's cool, bro, but don't expect everybody to think that you're super important just because you think you are. Everything that I have learned about Jojo Siwa has been against my will like it just ends up popping up on my feed because of memes jokes and embarrassing shit that she just keeps posting about herself willingly by the way honestly i'm pretty sure that jojo's just in her crash out era i mean i guess she's already made it in life she's made more money than i will ever see in my bank account in my entire life so i guess that's a fat dub on her but there's no amount of money in the world that would make me go out in public while drunk and be like hey guys i'm famous look at me L look everybody come on you you know me right please yeah you you, you know me, right? Please, please acknowledge my existence. Wish I would have never effed around. Yeah, we know it. Bruh, I love the way that that girl in the background recording the video was like, yeah, we know it, and not because she likes the song, bro, but mostly because she tried to claim that she wrote the song, and then it turns out that some other lady wrote the song years ago, then gave up the rights to it, then JoJo bought the rights, claimed it was hers, then that lady came out and was like, hey, my version's better, and, uh, 
it was. Like, dude, Jojo Siwa has absolutely zero self-awareness, and honestly, it's pretty funny. I love when celebrities who have zero self-awareness go out in public, make a fool of themselves, because then it's like laughing at a clown in the circus. Because you know they take themselves 100% seriously, but literally nobody else does. I love how humble the woman recording was because she was willing to wish Jojo Siwa happy birthday while she was at Disney, even though it was her birthday at Disney also, and Jojo Siwa was like, well, I'm famous, so my birthday is more important. And you can tell that she thinks she's more important than everybody else there because of what she's wearing. Like, dude, look at this. She's wearing a safety vest that's meant for people working around heavy machinery or, like, you know, doing the weird little thing that, like, with the airplanes and the sticks, you know, stuff like that, so that they can be visible. The entire point of one of those vests is to be visible in dangerous situations so that you don't get run over by a forklift or some shit. And of course, Jojo Siwa had to bedazzle it up so she could get even more attention from random people. Because even though she has millions and millions of followers online, and I'm sure her notifications are constantly blown up, it's not enough for her. She has to be the gay. <laughs> gay pop. It's my 21st birthday! I'm drunk as fuck right now! Wow, who could have guessed Jojo Siwa getting blackout drunk? and then posting it on TikTok. This video has already given off the energy of like three teenagers sharing one beer that they stole from their dad's fridge and just being like, whoa, man, I'm so drunk after smoking this one beer. Oh my God. There's absolutely no way that she hasn't tried alcohol or any drugs before this point. She's really out here fronting for the camera talking about, oh, I'm so drunk. Oh, it's the first time I'm getting drunk, guys. Like, come on, she's a child star. She's at least done cocaine. There's no other way that she's been able to keep up this high energy for her entire her career without some type of substance abuse which hey i'm not judging bro as a recreational user of a couple of substances myself dude have fun just be safe nobody fucking cares heavy emphasis on the nobody fucking cares dude everybody gets drunk you're not special <laughs> Something I'm it's my bread i'm supposed to eat <laughs> I got punched in the eye. Bro, that's so random. Oh, I got punched in the eye. Somebody's throwing bread at me. Like, this whole video just feels fake. Like, look in the background. Why does she have all this alcohol, but it sounds like the only person that's there with her is her mom? This room looks like what a 14-year-old would imagine a 21st birthday alcohol party would look like, and not like someone who's actually been to a party and has friends and knows how to set up drinks on the counter so that people can just grab and go and mix drink. Like, literally, there's no music in the background. She has no friends around around her. Does she even have any friends? Like, dude, no wonder JoJo C was crashing out. Must be lonely being up at the top. At least that's what she probably tells herself. <laughs> no, but seriously, this entire video just feels fake and staged. Like, hey guys, I'm so drunk. Oh, I'm 21 now. Oh, I'm so edgy and raw. Stream my new song. <laughs> it was really bad, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not the good spread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the way that she just panned the camera over to all the alcohol on the counter, this just feels like a cringe PR stunt to be like, hey guys, I'm an adult now, I can drink. My new song is me being a grown-up, edgy woman. Seriously though, where are her homies at? Like, nobody in their right mind would let their friend post some super cringe-ass shit like this. Anytime that I saw all the videos of her at Disney, it literally looked like all she had around her was grown-ass niggas. Like, seriously, bro, look at this real quick. This is me with my first drink. <laughs> so I've had a Sunny D vodka. My first drinks in Italy. That's amazing. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Seriously though, it doesn't look like a single person under the age of 27 is sitting here with her wishing her happy birthday, except for her. The only person under the age of like 30 is her. She told me that she couldn't get a single homie around her age to go with her on a trip to Disney for her birthday. Bro, when I turned 21, I rented out an Airbnb and me and my closest friends got fucked up at that Airbnb, dude. Even Keed was there. We almost burned down the Airbnb, actually. I have a story time video about that on my channel somewhere. I'm Georgia. This is my second country, but my fifth drink of the day. Happy birthday, Happy 
dude, how come every single spot she goes to to keep on trying drinks, they always sing her happy birthday? Like, why is she always getting her entire entourage to sing her happy birthday every time she goes to a new restaurant to try more drinks? It's always like, look at me, I'm the center of attention. Oh my god, these people are singing me happy birthday. Is everybody looking at me? Everybody's looking at me, right? I'm so important, bro. Please give me attention. And I know attention is exactly what JoJo C will want, so I'm just gonna cut the video off here. At the end of the day, the moral of this video is JoJo Siwa is cringe and a massive attention whore because she thinks she's more important than she actually is. So don't be like JoJo Siwa. Uh, like my favorite rapper Kendrick Lamar once said, sit down, be humble. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and agreed with anything I had to say, then smash a fat like on it and subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate that. Also, holy shit, we're about to hit 36k subs. You guys, like, watch the fuck out of the last two videos. Like, actually, this is insane. You boys had a pretty crazy year with the apartment burning down, being homeless, and then my car getting stolen. So, like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Seeing you guys fuck with the recent vids this hardcore has, like, actually put a huge smile on my face. So, look forward to brand new videos just about every single day. Day. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to daily upload if I can, but since your boy's car got stolen by a drug dealer, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll do what I can. Also, uh, make sure to check out the links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, blah blah blah, self-promotion, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I really hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, broskies.